All right, we've seen a quick warm up today across central Georgia. No secret about it. Looking live here in Dublin, a lot of people out and about here at this noon hour. We're looking at a great forecast today for Election Day. Yeah, several municipalities have elections today. We're in the 80s now. We're going to continue to be in the 80s as we work our way through the afternoon, expecting a high temperature around 83 before we begin to cool down quickly tonight as polls close around 7 p.m. So at 80 right now in Macon, 77 in Forsyth, 78 over in Roberta, Fort Valley, 77 in Cochrane, 79 in Dublin. And 76 in Sandersville down to the south, not mixing in any more 80s just yet, but give it a second and uh, we will be there relatively quickly. The radar, nothing going on and really not expecting to see much today. High pressure down in the Gulf of Mexico. That's creating a flow in off the Gulf of Mexico and that's keeping us warmer, but also making our air just a little more humid and that's going to be the key as we work towards Fridays. How humid is our air going to be for a cold front to arrive? And that's really going to dictate how much rain we could see across central Georgia. So by the afternoon, mind you, it's already 80 in Macon. So future view not handling the heat well this afternoon. I think we make it to about 83 or so before we get into the night tonight. Cooling off somewhere in the upper 40s, maybe even some mid 40s and a few spots. Not quite as cool as we got last night, but then into the afternoon right back into the 80s. And in fact, I expect tomorrow to actually be our warmest day this week as they're not going to have much in the way of cloud cover to keep us cooler. That will come on Thursday. A temperature near 50 to start Thursday, then through the mid afternoon hours, early to mid afternoon, we are going to be looking at that cloud cover around, and that's really going to stop our temperatures from getting as hot as they possibly could through Thursday afternoon. That takes us into the weekend when our next cold front is looking to arrive. You can see a broken line of showers Friday afternoon rolling into central Georgia. This most recent run of the models have a little more rain over us on Saturday than they did this morning. However, I would caution you in saying that the models have been very inconsistent and have not been agreeing a whole lot. In fact, yesterday the GFS showed no rain on Sunday. Now it's showing rain on Sunday, so we got a lot to figure out in terms of a rain chance. What I do think we have a good handle on, though, is a cool down is on the way no matter whether we get the rain or not, and that's all tied to how much humidity we're going to have in the atmosphere, going back to that Gulf of Mexico high pressure. So 80s for the next few days. We'll be down to 60s for Saturday there on Veterans Day, 64 the high temperature there after an overnight low of 56. I'm going with a 30% chance of rain Saturday morning, followed by a 20% chance of rain Sunday morning. As for today, 83 the high temperature, another borderline hot day. That should be around 72 for this time of year, and we are well above that. And into the next seven days, we are going to continue to be above that. 81 for Thursday, 78 for Friday. There's that rain chance again. That's written in pencil. The cool down, though, you can write that one in Sharpie because that is coming whether you like it or not. 62 for Sunday. Frederick, I know that's what you are most excited for. Oh, man.